hello everyone welcome back to another video and today in this video i am going to share my interview experience at csir project associate csir csio that is a particular unit one of the units of csir in chandigarh okay so this interview happened online mode okay so what are the pre requirements are the same as the my bel interview okay so what are the requirements those you have not seen just go and watch that video and just one or two videos back if you go to my channel okay so what are the pre requirement that is at least minimum first class in your graduation plus minimum one year or experience one year or more than one year of experience and post graduation experience okay now internships are not considered as a experience in this particular and then uh one one of the exams that you have to qualify or whether you are a csir exam okay jrf or if you clear jrf or gate exam whatever so that is considered and the total is 100 marks for selection 85 marks are given from this all these things and 15 marks for interview okay and the second thing is this interview was purely technical purely technical so what are the questions they have asked first brief introduction starting from graduation year like uh, when the interview has started the first question was when you have graduated okay then for example if you have graduate from 3 year back so in which year you graduated then uh, what you did in up these 3 years okay so up then the second question about work experience what you did in your those if you are working currently then they will ask what you are doing currently that means what is your roles and responsibility okay and if you have left the job then they have asked for reason for leaving the job so this is the basic then they start uh, there and one more thing panel members i have forgot to tell you that there are six panel members okay total and uh, uh, the they have started from technical the first is carnot cycle they have asked two question first is what is carnot cycle and why it is differ from other cycle okay what is the carnot cycle and why it is differ from other cycle and uh, so you are not to so the answer would be like it is a hypothetical cycle which provides the basis for heat transfer and work interaction of the any system at ideal condition it should we should not tell like two adiabatic and uh, to isothermal that is not the thing okay then second thing uh, as i have told you uh, as i have told in the interview that it is a hypothetical process so the next question on the same they have asks if it is a hypothetical then why we are studying it okay in today's world okay there are lots many lot of many cycles are there so why we are studying carnot cycle first so the reason for studying the carnot cycle is it provides the basis for reaching the maximum efficiency of the any cycle at given temperature limit okay so the maximum efficiency of the carnot cycle it provides the same temperature limit for example there is a 1000 kelvin and 300 kelvin if your cycle is working so your max to max efficiency that you can achieve in carnot cycle okay so this provides the basis the second question is a bernoulli equation what is bernoulli equation and uh, uh, which conservation is uh, used while calculate solving the new problems on based on bernoulli's equation okay and what are different heads associated with it then uh, there are application of rotameter and pitot tube so what is rotameter and uh, how it works and how we use pitot tube okay and one thing that is pitot tube they ask uh, which question which pressure it is measuring actually we are measuring uh, velocity but by converting that velocity into stagnation okay in stagnation head so the answer is stagnation head converting velocity in equivalent stagnation head then vcr cycle and equipments equipment means like uh, my uh, experience in air conditioning industries so they have asked me there are different con compressors are there so in room compressor which type room air conditioner which type of compressor is used so answer is rotary type okay and they have asked why rotary type is used why not reciprocating type okay 
and there is one more thing in refrigerator we have seen hermetically sealed compressor so they have asked me uh, why we are not using hermetically sealed compressor though its efficiency is higher compared to rotary okay so because in a room air conditioner we have to continuously extract the heat from large room so we require large volume flow rate so for large volume flow rate and pressure is uh, not too much too much higher compared to refrigerator because the pressure is directly proportional to temperature limit okay so that's why we are using rotary because high uh, volume and low pressure range and uh, they ask uh, in centrifugal chillers and compressor which kind of uh, they are refrigerant they are using in food processing industries okay next is drill bit geometry like uh, what is helix angle what is helix angle what is point angle and what is the use of fluids they ask basic thing what is this helix angle what is the why we are providing angle and why we are providing point angle all and what is the value 118 degree that is the point angle okay and uh, there are lots of question based on drill that is the uh, if uh, if you use 90 degree then what happen okay and how many number of fluids are there okay if we increase the fluid then what happen okay then difference between drilling reaming and boring so okay so if we drill then we have to remove it and then we have to, and if there is a if whenever required we can use boring okay and the next thing they have asked about the sim related to drilling that is burr what is the burr and why should we eliminate it and how that is the burr is that is some microchips are there that is due to plastic deformation of metal they got stuck there they could not be cleared so if any any assembly during fitting they might be get uh, trouble if we, for example if you make screw threads and if you insert the bolt and if there is a burr then there will be there will be metal to metal friction and it will not uh, if if you turn that bolt further then it will not go into into the hole okay and it will create some uh, uh, difficulties in assembly and if there is a burr and somehow if bolt is passed through and we are tightened with nut okay we are, if then we have tightened tightened with nut so while in running application due to this burr there may be some misalignments are there so there is a chance for uh, vibrations okay so that is the reason that we have to eliminate and how that we can do the rimming then we can passing the go no go gate to check the size and the buffing wheel that we can use for external surface and there are some brushes are there for cleaning that burr in hole particular of different diameter size so that that is the answer next is what is the provision what is the reason for providing shear on punches and power press so we all have studied in a thing that is in shearing okay sheet metal operation that is punch shear is provided why to for the same amount because the for any a uh, cutting shear for example if you pro if you are making a hole circular hole and uh, for power press and if you use directly cylindrical shape then you require the large amount of energy okay and but in short time okay it will cut but if you use the shear then amount of energy that will be required less but the time consumption is more so based on the time we can if we time required for the same punching is not more than that and it it is within economical range then we can use punching punches but uh, majority the time difference is very very less so we are always providing shear on the punches to limit the maximum of energy okay next is what is additive manufacturing they have asked uh, what is the additive manufacturing what are the new technologies that are coming in the market and what are the different additive manufacturing process like uh, rapid prototyping the uh, laminated object manufacturing and tessellation what is the, all that thing and uh, they have asked me what are the different additive manufacturing like uh, the in rapid prototyping there are different different processes laminated object manufacturing and uh, liquid fuse uh, fuse deposition method okay all that thing and the basic cycle of 3d printing like first we are drawing cad model then we are mm, tesser we are doing tessellation and then we are slicing it on layer by layer and then we are programming so that is the basic cycle okay 
the next question now what is tessellation because i have used the word i have used that word tessellation okay so they have asked me uh, what is the tessellation so i would given the answer that is uh, uh, dividing the geometry in 3d triangles and triangles to feel that any gaps are there while in cad modeling if there are gaps so that is unnecessary that is not requirement so to feel that gap so that is uh, like it's like a meshing okay that we are using in uh, ansys and uh, all other things so that is tessellation okay then what are the merits and demerits of additive manufacturing over the conventional like uh, any complex part is made whatever the material material is there there is no waste so these are the merit but there are some demerits okay high energy consumption and uh, cost is high time requirement is high okay so these are the questions are there hope you understand this and in your interview you can perform well okay so thank you for watching this video if you want more this kind of videos then please comment in the comment section and subscribe this channel for more videos like this thank you